in our last lesson we made um, the sign-in page. Uh, in this lesson we are going to make it uh, smaller and vertically aligned. So let's uh, start by right-clicking on Bootstrap and create a new uh, folder and we'll call that CSS. Uh, right-click on that and create a new file and this file we'll call login.css. So this is where we'll write our own custom uh, CSS away from Bootstrap. Okay, so type link and tab and CSS slash uh, login.css. Okay, so we'll link up to our own CSS. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to write a, a few CSS of our own. Uh, let's start by targeting the container. We want to limit the width of the container by say maximum width uh, should be 400 pixels. Okay. So now we're targeting this container here. So let's see what is done. So it's reduced the width of everything within that container to 400 pixels. All right, so um, now that we've done that, we want to uh, center align this content, the sign in. So we say center text. So this is using Bootstrap CSS. Uh, it doesn't like that so it should be text uh, center like this okay and now we can see it works okay that's great so the text has been centered we now want to vertically align um, our sign in so make it in the middle of the page so let's before we do that we want to attach our run CSS um, class handler here so we say form sign in okay and I will copy this form sign in and go into the login CSS and then say dot form sign in curly brackets and within it I want to vertical align middle okay now let's go back and reset and nothing happens so that's because there's a few things we need to, to do. And before we do that, I'll, um, I'll make a class that helps us draw a dotted line around anything we attach the class to. Okay, so let's attach uh, the box class to, uh, we could start with the form sign in. So, so just added box there, okay. Now, if we save this and reset, we can see uh, that the red dot stops just below the form, which is a problem. We want it to go all the way down the page. So let's try and see what happens when we add it to the container. And we try it. You see the container stops there, okay, which is not good. So we also need the container to go all the way down. And the reason why it's not gone all the way down is that uh, our HTML and body elements are not 100% height. So now they're not going all the way down. So if we do the same with the body of and then reset and we can see the body uh, doesn't go all the way down. So if we go into our CSS file, we could uh, fix that. So in your CSS file, type HTML comma body curly brackets we want to say the height should be 100 pixels okay so now if we reset we can see the red the dotted line has gone all the way down and all the way around our document that's exactly what it needs to be okay so that hasn't fixed the problem yet we still have an issue um, with things not being centered so let's draw the box around our container Okay, so the container hasn't gone down by itself, so we need to um, manually tell it uh, to have a height of 100%. So in here, I just say 100%. Okay, so let's see if that worked. So that's worked. So that's great. Um, so it's going all the way down. That hasn't fixed it yet, but that's okay for now. So I'm going to say minimum height again to 100%. So this is for compatibility issue across browsers. So it works fine on other browsers. Okay, so what we now want to do 
is do the same for our form uh, sign in. So if I get rid of this, um, actually here in our container, what we now need to do is display a table and uh, in the form sign in, we display table cell. So we're basically making the page behave like a table where we have a table and a cell within that table. Vertical align only works for table cells. So now that we've done that, we can see that everything has worked. So you will come across a situation like this in the future where you need to vertically align something. So you could always reference this project or redo it a few more times. In the next lesson, we are going to work on the posts page uh, in this lesson, we've learned uh, how to vertically align documents, um, which required uh, attaching a table to our container and then a table cell to our form sign in. Okay, so this is where we'll stop in this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll carry on with the, the posts table. So I'll see you there.